Okay, so the next role attribute that you can maintain is the role status. Okay, so click on this, maintain role status, and then SAP gives you three role statuses by default: development, production, and testing. Uh, you can pick. Uh, you should select production because um, the roles with the status production are on the, the are the only roles that are available for uh, role. Uh, user role requests, right, in uh, ARM. So select production and click on save, which we already did. So if you have any other status, you could create with new entries, but development production, maybe, you know, if you can have, let's say, another system in your landscape, or another stage, something called as staging, right? In some cases, I've seen they have a fourth system also. So click on save and then put it in a transport request. So you could add your own um, role status if you want. If you are the so fourth system landscape, if you have, right, in this case, for example. But the only the roles that are in production status, they are the only ones that are available for user role requests, okay? Keep that in mind. So your roles have always have to be in the production status if, if it has to be part of ARM, uh, like, you know, provisioning, user provisioning. Click on save and then come out, okay? Now we'll see how to specify the critical levels. What are the critical levels? 